those that don't know, most recreation vehicles have two water intakes. They have a city water intake, which on our rig is located at the rear of the unit. This goes straight from a city water connection, which ours is right over here. Or while you're at a, a campground that provides water, that's where you would connect to your city water connection. Most travel trailers, fifth wheels, class A vehicles also have a fresh water tank. And our fresh water fill is right here. Depending on the size of your rig, depends on how the size of your tank. But you can fill fresh water here and circulate it throughout your rig via a water pump. There's a problem with ours. What's up fellow viewers? So I noticed a few weeks ago, probably about the middle of December, uh, Brandy was coming in from Alaska and I noticed that week that I had water pouring out of my fresh water field. And I knew that my freshwater tank was empty because we had not used it since October trip to Disney. And so I was wondering how in the world could my freshwater tank be overflowing? Well, after some research, I figured out it was actually city water backing up to the freshwater tank. How does that happen? A faulty check valve is what I could find. The check valve in our water pump either failed or had some dirt in it and was causing it to stay open. Many people said that you could run your water pump for 10 or 15 minutes and while you're disconnected from city water and hopefully that check valve would close back up. It worked for us one time, but after that, it failed. Today, I'm gonna fix that. I got a new pump in the mill and we're gonna swap it out. Let me show you how. So our water pump is located underneath our kitchen island here in the rig. Uh, it was just to the left of the doors here behind the panel. Panel come out, easy, four screws. And as you can see, there's our water pump. It is fed from the fresh water tank through the floor here, goes through the pump, circulates out to the rig through here. So I believe that the check valve that is bad is inside the water pump here, which has been causing the backflow from city water filling our fresh water tank. Make sure you have your city water cut off and make sure your pump itself is off at the control panel before you take this out. Also, if you've got a battery disconnect, you can disconnect your battery because uh, the pump itself runs off a of 12 volt. So make sure you do all those safety tips first before you go unhooking any lines. I had a little water leak because I forgot to cut the water pressure, uh, the city water off. So it's off now, the lines are drained and this is ready to get out. There's four screws on the bottom here, just behind the rubber feet there, two lines, two power lines. So you disconnect this line here, this line here from the pump. I'll do the four screws, pull it out, and then I'll show you the new one to put back in. So this is the new pump. It's a Shearflow. It's made by Pentair. The model number is 4008-101-A65. That is exactly the model number of the old one that I ordered off the big box store in the sky. At the time of this video, this particular pump only cost me 60 bucks. Not too bad. On the vacuum side, this is considered the vacuum side of the pump. This is where it draws in water from the fresh water tank and then pumps it out through to the rig. On the vacuum side of the tank is this filter. And this filter, as you can see, is still a little dirty, but I just cleaned it out. All of that 
was inside this filter. As you can see, that's the, the filter all cleaned out now, except for some little bit of residue. But that goes on the, the vacuum side of the tank, filters in the water from the fresh water tank so you don't get any dirt and debris. But if the filter was dirty, obviously ours was, that can get into the check valve inside the pump, cause it to remain open, debris gets lodged in there, that way the water would backflow into our fresh water tank, which I am sure is what's happened. So I believe I'm gonna have a spare pump because I think that the filter being clean, I can flush the old pump out and we'll have a spare. So anyway, I'm gonna still install the new one. As you can see, there's a couple of wires here, power wire, ground, and it's very easy. I'll show you underneath how to hook it all up. So anyway, check your filters. If your pump has one, make sure they're clean especially if you use your pump a lot. So as you can see, and if you were like me, I was a little intimidated when I first opened this up and saw all these wires and thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna electrocute myself. But it's really not that difficult to, uh, or I'm sorry, really not that complicated. We do have a lot of wires here because we do have a CO detector that's run through this here. We also have an outlet Let's run through this particular panel or open space. But the wires coming from the battery and throughout the rig come up through the floor here. And then, like I said, coming off the pump, there is a power wire, which is here, and a ground, which is here. So all you have to do is undo these two wire nuts, wire your new pump in, and then reinstall it. So don't let all this scare you. These are crimped in wire connectors, so I'm gonna have to snip them and then strip the, the ends off of the new, the new wires to wire the new pump in so old pump disconnected don't have water in it A couple of new wire nuts here. Be a little extra cautious with some electrical tape around it. Just a matter of hooking the hoses back up, screwing it back down to the floor, and check and see if she works.
connections uh, to the pump this line for the outtake and the intake here uh, from the freshwater tank are all just hand tight so uh, we also invested in some uh, line insulation that I cover this line with and it helps with the vibration so um, I know there's rubber feet on the pump but those things still get pretty loud especially in this space it kind of echoes so uh, if you can insulate your lines in here that'll help with uh, the vibration and dampen the noise a little bit so let me go put some water in the fresh water tank check the power out make sure this thing works and uh, we'll be back online for some boondocking and fresh water. So I went out and added some fresh water to the fresh water tank. You can see on our monitor here, I put in just about a third. And I've opened the line. There's a line shut off from the pump to the fresh water tank that I've had shut off since um, it stopped working right. So I opened up that line. So should have water when I cut the pump on. We'll give it a second to pressurize. It should have water. Check to make sure there's no leaks. Doesn't appear to be any leaks down there. As you can see that hose vibrate, that's the one I was talking about. You can put insulation around and it helps dampen that. So I'm gonna put my insulation back around that hose. Seal up the void. And we're good to go. So I hope this video provided some insight especially if you've got an empty fresh water tank that's overflowing or if you just got a faulty water pump that needs replacing. Don't be intimidated or scared like I was. It's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The hardest thing was holding the camera and changing it out. Otherwise, it would have been like a 10-minute job. Either way, I hope this video was helpful and you'll see me in the next one. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell. As always, safe travels and awesome views.